Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be finding out the anti-log of 15.6. First, know that this given number 15.6 has two parts. This is the whole number part and after the decimal, this is the decimal part. In other words, 15 is called the characteristic and 0.6 is called the mantissa. Now, the steps to find the antilog is just like this. This can be written as 15.60. When you turn to your log book under the antilogarithms column, I mean the page, you'll see that the numbering starts from 0 0.00 and it goes on up to 0.99. So, the number given to us is 0 0.60, that is the mantissa part. First, you're going to take your anti-logarithm book and you're going to detect 0 0.60 under the anti-log page. In the first page, it's from 0 0.00 till 0.49 and when you come to the second page, you get 0 0.60 here and the value under 0 which is 3981. So after finding that, just write it as it is, 3981, after which you're going to write into 10 power the whole number part or the characteristic. In this case it's 10 power 15 and the final step is to add a point after 3. Repeating the steps again. First, find the antilog of 0 0.60 from the clock's table, write it into 10 power the whole number part. After which, final step, just add a decimal point after 3. In order to clearly understand this, let us take another example. Let us consider a number. 18.9 like I said if nothing is there it will become 18.90 now under the antilog page you're gonna find out 0 0.90 value as you can see under this page 0 0.90 is 7943 under the zero column so we're gonna write that into the second step you are going to write 10 to the power of the whole number in this case it is 18 and the final step add a point after 7 so this is gonna be the antilog of 18.9 similarly just follow these three steps for any number of this type and find the antilog